Okie dokie, hey guys, so really quick I am coming with a tutorial on how to make the monogram curtains. As you guys can see these curtains are pretty much new out the box. I got them yesterday and I immediately um, tried to get as much wrinkles out as possible with the iron um, but it's not working very well so my plan is to basically do my design and um, Afterwards, I will be steaming it as it hangs in the shower um, and as well you know when you take a shower that steams it as well but in uh, this case I will be steaming it with the steamer so first thing is first I want to show you guys <coughs> the what I call this the vinyl that I printed out via my Cricut and you guys will be able to purchase this if you don't have a Cricut and you're really looking to get this type of curtain you can you can um, purchase this from my Etsy store Stelly Creations I'll put the link below and basically all I'm doing is I am um, lining it up I'm eyeballing it um, for myself because this will be going into my bathroom and I'm just going to be uh, doing a bathroom set uh, to show you guys. So this is a part of that set. If you guys are crafty and instead of purchasing it, you want to know just how to make the um, the. What am I saying? And you just want to know how to make the monogram. You guys can also check below in the description box. I will be linking the video of how I created this this um, this split monogram from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the same thing really quick to a curtain that I have over here. You guys can't really see it, but I want to make sure that they are as identical as possible because I will be doing a double panel for my shower curtain. Okay, so now that I have both of them lined up, I'm just going to grab a piece. Let me make sure it's even. I'm just going to grab a piece of wax paper. And I'm going to start to put this down. I want to wait to put my teeth on. For you guys who don't know and you're just uh, jumping into my channel, I am eight full months, a little over, almost nine months pregnant. So uh, being down here is actually kind of a struggle for me. So please bear with me. Have patience. Whew. Okay. Um, recently learning that with the Cricut, you want to make sure that you, with the Cricut vinyls, you want to make sure that you press down um, and not roll around like I have previously been doing. And I believe they say you count to 10. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. This is just me moving my wax paper. I personally, I know that um, some women have said, you know, even putting it too much longer could cause it to um, mess up the adhesive. 
that's up to you guys but just for me um for reassurance i'm going to go over it just a little bit more because once again this will be for my shower curtain and um the bathroom steams up so i just want to make sure that everything is fine and it doesn't get too foggy I'm having some problems with my U, maybe because I layered it on top accidentally, but just be very careful to not layer it. I'm going to go the opposite way, pressing down and pulling back. Yeah, my U is not having it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, can I rip this off? No. So yeah, my U ripped. More than likely, I'm going to go back and fix that. It's good that you guys are here to see my mistake. What I did was I put the one vinyl and I put another one on top so when I ironed it that thin piece of you that was right here um, got stuck to my other uh, trans transfer sheet so it's actually stuck right here on the transfer sheet I could just rip it off or I could go ahead and print it all over again yeah, I want to print it over again or something, but I will show you guys how I fix it later. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and add my tea because that's the reason why I waited for my tea because I didn't want that problem. I had it before, so I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Make sure you space it out enough so that nothing is ripping off the other vinyls. So instead of doing it all three pieces together, I would do it piece by piece to make sure that you're not sticking any other um, transfer paper on top of the other. So that's my problem. I had that problem three times. So don't rush like me. Um, take your time, of course. I'm doing this for you guys on the video purposes, but um, just make sure you take your time.
guys so this is the first panel I pretty much fixed all my little mistakes uh, and when I do this oh no let's just make sure that next time I'm going to put something under it I thought doing it straight on my carpet was fine but I'm guessing it's not yep I burnt my favorite carpet so you guys, it's perfect that I am doing this video for you so you guys can see, you know, from my mistakes and so on and so forth. Oh, but I still love the panel. As you can see me pulling this curtain up from my carpet. And this is it. This is the monogram. So here's my cart full of things. And uh, next you will see that I have four of these same jars, the same size to make a flower pot. And I'm going to be using these double stacked with the E6000. And I'm going to be spray painting it gold in a second. As you can see it in the background, I have that little tea candle holder. And I'm going to place another small jar on top of that with E6000 uh, with the vinyl on top. And you guys are about to see it in a second. Thanks. Hey, you guys. So right now I'm just showing you guys a really quick pre, I guess I can say, before of my bathroom. I am about to do a nice quick bathroom uh, recovery or a bathroom set and I'll be showing you guys piece by piece some of the tutorials for this video as you guys can see we already have a few things up um, I'm thinking about doing something about my window curtain and by the way my husband hates the way that I record I am terrible at using this camera but you guys get the point so this is my bathroom Pretty much so I will be showing you guys the finished look afterwards thank you so much bye